Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review. And today I have WB Saffel 107 proof. This is a cool looking bottle. I know it's pretty small. It's small, but could it be mighty? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, small, but maybe mighty, or maybe not. I don't know. So. Uh, this one comes in, it's about $50 a bottle, depending on where you are, 50 to 60, I usually see it in the Denver area. I know some places ha don't see it at all, others do see it. It's distribution, am I right? It's crazy. It is crazy. So anyhow, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for liking, for subscribing, for watching. It really does make a difference. Thank you guys, cheers to you. Let's dive into this review. Here we go, oh yeah. Whoa, holy moly. This nose smells like it belongs in fall. Like, whoa, if you like a fall whiskey, this is like a really fall-esque whiskey. On the nose, it's like buttery, molasses, caramel, burnt brown sugar, vanilla bean. Oh, a little bit of orange spice, orange, orange spice, like, that Constant Comet tea that I talk about sometimes. Mmm, the nose smells really good. It smells very, very good. Let's see what it tastes like, here we go. Whoa. On the palate, this is like a very great combination of like sweet and spice. Not hot, not hot, not like spicy hot, like proof hot. Like spice, like um, cinnamon, uh, cardamom, allspice, like a pie, spice that I think that you would get in like a, like an apple pie, but it doesn't have the apple flavoring. So that apple pie spice, oh, that's really good. Let me take one more sip here. More of those molasses notes, a little bit of tobacco, cinnamon that comes through right mid palate and just floats through. The finish is really good, really enjoyable. Even a little bit of like that effervescence, that tongue tingling goodness, a little oakiness, super balanced. Yeah, has a great amount of flavor. This is really good, really, really good. I'm glad that we finally picked up a bottle of this because we've seen it on the shelf and we just were like, eh, it's a small bottle for, you know, 55 or $60. Not so sure like if it's gonna be good or not. So we got it and I'm glad we did get it because it is really, really, really nice and really enjoyable. And that is why I'm gonna go ahead and give this four corks out of five. It's a great score, has a good nose, palette, and finish. Um, I would, you know, I'd be curious to know what this tasted like at like higher proof with a little more age. I don't know. Seems like it would be really good. That's when it would like hit the sweet spot, I think. A little more age, a little more proof. So good, but where it's at right now, really good. So that's my review for the WB Saffle. Let me know what you guys think of this bottle, if you've tried it, do you like it? Have you tried the others, the Old Rippy, the Bond and Lillard? Curious about those two, because I have not tried those yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Dara and I'll see you next time.